Welcome to the Pepperell and Fuchs basic training for capacitive sensors. Proximity sensor is a generic term for sensors that detect material or objects within a defined sensing distance of the sensor. Photoelectric, inductive, capacitive, and ultrasonic product technologies fall under the definition of proximity sensor. For this basic training, we will discuss the capacitive sensor. A capacitive sensor is a sensing device based on capacitive coupling effects. This type of sensor detects material when the material comes within a defined distance of the sensing face. These sensors are commonly referred to as capacitive switches, capacitive sensors, or proximity sensors. The term switch is used interchangeably with sensor because these devices often replace other mechanical switching type devices. Capacitive sensors are used to detect liquids, paper, plastics, powders, and granular material. They can be used to detect liquid material through non-conductive container walls. They can also detect liquid in a glass tube, plastic pipe, or rubber hose. The sensing range from the sensor to the material is determined by the size of the target, the sensitivity, density of the material, thickness of the material, and dielectric of the material. Capacitive sensors can detect both conductive and non-conductive materials. An inductive sensor can detect only metal, but a capacitive sensor can detect a variety of materials. Knowing the target material and how the capacitive sensor will be mounted are very important in determining whether a capacitive sensor will work in your application. The basic concept of a capacitive sensor is that it acts similar to a capacitor which has two plates. One plate inside the sensor is tied to the oscillator. The second plate is the target material. The sensor's rated distance is based on the test target which is a grounded copper plate. As the target approaches the capacitive sensor the internal oscillator begins and will increase in amplitude depending upon the target distance. When the internal oscillation reaches a defined threshold level the output switching device is triggered and you will get an output from the sensor. When speaking of capacitive sensors and sensing distance, several standard definition terms are often referred to. First is the nominal sensing range, which is a sensing distance for a defined target size, temperature, and applied voltage. This nominal sensing distance does not completely specify the sensing range for a given application. Second is the assured sensing distance, which is the distance tested and assured over the complete temperature and voltage range with the standard target size. The assured sensing distance is a more reliable distance to use when designing a sensor for a specific function. Third is the hysteresis of the sensor, which defines the difference in distance between the on distance and the off distance. Here we see pictorially the difference between the nominal sensing distance and the assured sensing distance. Note that the assured sensing distance will always be lower than the nominal sensing distance. Here we see pictorially the definition of hysteresis. Note that the D or on distance is the position at which the sensor changes to the active or on state. When the target is moved away from the sensing face, it will reach a position where the sensor changes to the inactive or off state. The difference between these two distances is defined as hysteresis and is designed into the sensor to minimize output chatter or instability when the target is at the activation distance. Here we see an example of how the sensing definitions apply to a basic capacitive sensor. The CBB4 12GH60 E2 V1 is a standard Pepperell and Fuchs capacitive sensor with a defined sensing range of 4 millimeters. In this case, the standard sensing distance is 4 millimeters. The assured sensing distance is 3.2 millimeters and the hysteresis is 0.2 millimeters. Since the assured distance is defined based on multiple factors including the supply voltage and temperature, it is common to have a sensor that triggers at a distance greater than the assured distance. The assured distance defines the position where a sensor is guaranteed to activate only if the sensor is operated over the complete temperature range. When thinking about sensor activation, we should consider how the target approaches the sensor activation area. There are two main ways that the target can approach. The first is shown on this slide and is the basis for all prior discussions about sensing distance. When thinking about the radial approach and the mechanism in which the capacitive sensor detects the target, 
we can see that the radial activation point is affected by the axial distance that the target is from the sensor face as well as the sensitivity adjustment. In this case, the sensor can be adjusted to detect the liquid level in a container. As mentioned earlier, the dielectric, size, density, and thickness of the material may have an effect on the detection distance. If the dielectric of the material is less than metal or water, there will be some reduction factor for that material. If we have a CBB4 12GH60 E2 V1, the sensing range for grounded copper plate and water is approximately 4 millimeters. But if we try to detect oil with a dielectric of 2.9, the sensing range would be approximately 1.12 millimeters. The dielectric chart on this page and the following pages show the dielectric for common materials. Here are a few materials with their dielectric listed. The minimum dielectric necessary for a capacitive sensor to detect a material is approximately 2. The most common capacitive sensor output type is the 3-wire DC PNP output. As shown in the diagram, this output supplies voltage and current to the connected load. For the normally open PNP output, the load is connected to plus voltage when the sensor is activated. For the normally closed output, the load is connected to plus voltage when the sensor is deactivated. Also available for the capacitive sensor output type is the 3-wire DC NPN output. As shown in the diagram, this output connects the load circuit to zero volts when active. For the normally open NPN output, the load is connected to plus zero volts when the sensor is activated. For the normally closed output, the load is connected to plus zero volts when the sensor is deactivated. As we can see from the slide, four-wire DC sensors offer the same output as the three-wire sensors, but the four-wire sensors include both output states in the same sensor package. Note that the models include both the normally open and normally closed outputs. This gives the customer the ability to select one sensor model and use the output state that is appropriate for the applications. Four-wire DC sensors are available in both PNP and NPN type outputs. The Pepperell & Fuchs capacitive family has cylindrical and surface mount types for different mounting options. The outputs available are three-wire DC, four-wire DC, and the more and AC types. Most capacitive sensor models have sensitivity adjustment. The cylindrical diameter sizes are M12, M18, M30, and 40 millimeter. Some models have options for cable connector and terminal connection types. Output types offered are DC, AC, and Namor. The different housing types that are available are F46, which is 20 millimeter by 50 millimeter, F64, which is 25 millimeter by 40 millimeter. CJ30-50, which is a 50 millimeter diameter, standard limit switch size of 40 millimeter by 118 millimeters, and standard flat pack size of 80 millimeters by 80 millimeters. With the F46 housing, you can mount using the screw hole or slots with a tie wrap. You can use the tie wrap if the F46 needs to be attached to a sight glass for level control. The F46 has no sensitivity adjustment, but is available in 2mm, 5mm, and 10mm sensing ranges. There is also a PVDF housing that is more resistant to some chemicals. The F64, limit switch, 50mm diameter, and flat pack are very adaptable to solve different level applications. For sensors with integral cable, the international standard 3-wire DC capacitive sensor wiring defines the brown wire as the plus voltage connection. The rated operational voltage of the sensors is from 10 volts DC to 30 volts DC, but you will find that 24 volt DC is the most common supply voltage in applications. The blue wire is defined as the power supply common or zero volt connection, and the black wire is the standard output wire connection. For sensors with integral M12 or M8 connectors, the three-wire DC capacitive sensor wiring is defined as pin number one, plus voltage connection, pin number three, power supply common or zero volt connection, 
and pin number 4, output connection. Conveniently, the wiring color code extends to the external cable connections when using a cord set with a sensor that has an integral connector. Here you can see that when using a 3-wire or 4-wire cord set, the wiring colors that you connect to use the sensor are the same, brown, blue, and black. When using a 4-wire DC sensor, the connection convention follows the 3-wire connection color code with the addition of the fourth white wire, which connects the second output signal. Here you can see that when using a 4-wire cord set, the wiring colors that you connect to use the sensor are brown, blue, black, and white. Up to this point, we have discussed the basics about capacitive sensor technology, construction, mounting, and wiring. Now we will briefly explain the Pepperell and Fuchs capacitive sensor basic nomenclature. For a basic cylindrical capacitive sensor, such as a CBB4 12GH60 E1 V1, we see the nomenclature is defined as shown here. The first four characters define the sensor type. C for capacitive series, B for basic series, B for shielding, where in this case the part is embeddable, and four, the nominal sensing range. The next four characters define the mechanical characteristics of the sensor. Here we see that the sensor diameter is 12, the housing type is threaded, or G, the material H is stainless steel 316L, and the housing thread length is 60. Just as a note, this nomenclature, if for cylindrical sensor types and other rectangular sensor types, will have slight variance to the nomenclature structure. Most notably, Character 5 will define the housing style for standard Peppel and Fuchs housings. The last two characters in the sensor nomenclature define the output type. Here it is E2 for PNP, normally open, and the output connection type V1 for M12 connector.